still think the path to least resistance is that stocks go higher. I think at the end of the day, you have a lot of money managers that are experiencing performance anxiety. And I'm not referring to performance anxiety that you see on the, on the TV ads or TV commercials, but you have the averages up 13, 14%. Many of those money managers are still behind that. And you know, to keep up the Jones, they have to buy stocks. So I think that performance anxiety is gonna help out stocks in the long run because uh, these money managers need to add to their stock portfolio. What you wanna do is have a diversification. You want tax-free mutual funds. You want some annuities, diversify mutual funds. If you can make sustained gains over many, many years, the compounding, the stacking returns on top mm -hmm. of returns really can get you into the end zone. When so you say defense is the best offense when it comes to investing, what do you mean by that? Well, again, not throwing those Hail Marys, not doing the flea flicker, not doing the Statue of Liberty and double reverses and all these like, kind of crazy. Said next week is a very busy week, of course, with economic data, but let's not discount sell May and go away. You know, for many years, professionals spoke about sell May and go away. But the last couple of years, it really worked. I mean, European debt woes came to fruition, and now people on Main Street are when you're in your 20s, a good time to take some risks too. Yeah. If you think about in companies that started like Steve Jobs and right. Bill Gates, they did it in their 20s. So if you're gonna take a risk, you know, keep your day job, or <laughs> create a company, do something bold, because before you have kids, yeah. that's the time to take All a risk. Right. People ask me, well gee, with 10 years from now, what inflation look like? I said, it's hard to know, but let's look back 10 years, your history. Pull out an old cell phone bill. Yikes. I mean, like, I wish I could pay that right now. Yeah. An old cable bill. You look at it and say, gee, I can't believe I only paid that 10 years ago. And that's the effect of inflation over time. And of course, with housing, with maintenance and taxes, it gets kind of scary. And if you put some money into like a mutual fund over time, you know, that could be hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, the chances of winning the lottery is one out of 170 million. So if the odds are a little bit better, that'd probably be a good investment program, but considering one out of 170 million, not a, not a good approach. The, the problem we think is that we spend money and therefore we're going to have a great life. There's a lot of things we can do, some, like I said, the old saying, some of the best things in life are free. And that's so true when it comes to finances. So it's a good idea to research some of those free things that are out there in 2013. Yeah, look, your public library, you're paying for that, right? You're paying for your taxes anyway. Why not go there and enjoy it? I mean, this is the time of the year where people get their credit cards and say, well, what happened here, right? And uh, instead of using those credit cards, maybe go to the ATM machine, take out cash, know you have a finite money to work with, so when you go on that shopping spree, you're kind of stuck with that money that you took out. So live you know. within your budget? Live within your budget.